Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how we use the CSS selector in Playwright. Okay, so Playwright will handle the CSS selectors. We can use CSS selector to identify the locators. So we have one URL here, Orange HRM application. So I am going to use this application and will show you how we use the CSS selector in the Playwright. So this is page.navigate method I am calling to navigate the URL. Then we can call the page dot. And here is suppose that username and password field. I am going to enter the username and password and then click on login button. So I will create CSS selector for the username and password. So let's highlight this. It has a name attribute. Okay which value is user so let's use this user value so i am going to use the first tag name then name attribute in square bracket equal to the value username css selector is created here you can see this selector is highlighted to the user name input field let let's use this in the playwright so we can call here the page dot locator methods then pass the selector okay locator so i am passing css selector here then for the input we need to call the fill method and enter some value like i am entering here testing similar type we can create a step for the password field so let's create css selector now for password field here you can see password field is input tag class this is the class and this is the type equal to password and we have again name attribute as a password value here so we can use the password okay attribute of name so i'm using pass the name attribute value password here so you can see this is highlighted to the password field so css selector is created for password field let's copy this and replace use here for password okay let me type here yeah username is admin so let's use admin and password is admin123 next we need to click on the login button so let's highlight this you can see login button html tag is button and we have a class value okay so let's create css selector by using the class here we can use the button and then class name so class name is large so we can remove and generally put the orange login button class value so here we can use the asterisk for the content so button class asterisk equal to css value so it will verify it if any button whose class contains this value it will highlight now you can see we are able to highlight this login button so copy this go to your source code call the page dot locator paste here says a select then call click method so it will click so now i am using here css selector so directly passing the css select value in page dot locator it will automatically handle these values let me run down Yeah, this started running. Yeah, it's navigated the URL. URL is navigated. And then enter username and password. You can see admin and login and now user login successfully. Okay, so you can see here we can directly use the CSS selector in page.locator methods. Okay, and it will work. Now we can also use CSS equal to here okay this will also work css equal to, so either we can directly pass the css selector value in page dot locator method or we can also specify css equal to then user locators so you can you can see this is working so both way we can use directly we can pass the css selector value in locator method 
as well as with that of CSS equal to. Okay, you can see this is login. So hope this will helps you how we create and use the CSS selector in our playwrights. And also if you want to go more, learn more things about the CSS selectors, how we create. So we have already created some video. Okay, and I have added the in the description links, descriptions. Okay, you can go through and learn CSS selectors. Thanks for watching the video.